Welcome to my studio here. This is my living room and recording studio. As you can see, I've just got a little bit of a sound insulation there, mostly to help stop echoes in the room. I know it doesn't do too much. But uh, the reason why we're here today is for Theory Thursday. Okay, this was a, a, a new idea or a concept I came up with. Um, you know, I can share little videos here and there. Uh, in case you uh, don't know, uh, I am a musician, a violinist, a composer, and I also went to university for music, and, and I ma actually majored in composition as well. I wrote for orchestra, string quartet, all sorts of different ensembles uh, before kind of leaving music for quite a while, and then rediscovering it here uh, with you know all the new technologies that we have, and really coming to find my own style. So if you like my music, you can follow along on my Spotify. Uh, if you like to see all my cool music videos and uh, other experiments, uh, YouTube. And if you like the uh, educational co uh, content here, you know, comment below. Let me know what you're uh, looking for, what kind of questions you have about music, and uh, subscribe uh, for more. Okay, so without any further ado, I uh, thank you for joining us here. Um, now I'm a music teacher too, so uh, you know I can understand. You know, probably it feels like your teacher is uh, are constantly, you know, lecturing you or um, you know, punishing you with assigning you scales, um, and you know I sometimes feel like a bad guy too, always assigning, um, you know, reinforcing, let's say, uh, the importance of practicing our scales and arpeggios, and I I try to remind them that you know, even myself, this is something that I do every day. It's kind of like stretching or brushing your teeth or anything that we would do daily to take care of our maintenance. Um, you know, otherwise it's just going to go away. This type of uh, sensitivity with the motor controls. Okay, you think about it. Um, if you're in rehab uh, after like a motor accident or like a long injury, for example, um, they've got to go to rehab even to learn how to walk again because even being off of your legs for a few months uh, can make that difficult. Okay? Now those are very big muscles. Okay? If you think by comparison how small the muscles in our fingers are, uh, even after just one day, it will start to degrade. Okay? So um, there was a very famous quote from a very famous violinist. Please let me know who it was. I forget. Uh, if I don't practice for one day, I, I notice. If I don't practice for two days, uh, my teachers or mentors will notice. If I don't practice for three days, well, then the audience will start to hear. Okay, so um, it does start right away, this degradation. Um, so what we do is we just kind of uh, acknowledge that this is part of uh, what it is, and we have to kind of keep our muscles in tune. Okay, uh, it's kind of like uh, exercise or, you know, any other thing. Like, you know, we've got to uh, do the laundry or, or you know, whatever we got to do uh, to keep up with our daily uh, lives. Okay, you got to, you know, it's something that's important. But why is it important? Okay, so... The analogy I use for my students is Lego, okay? If you want to think about it, you know, we've got different kinds of bricks, and we can make all sorts of different kind of uh, structures, but if you had only, like, the little smallest bricks, like, uh, let's say, one that is, like, just one cube, and one that is, like, a two cube, well, then we can kind of combine those uh, in different ways to create whatever other structures that we need, okay? So similarly, that's how our scales and arpeggios work. So I know, and listen, I used to be a student too, and I understand, uh, especially growing up, you know, and going to school, um, you don't want to show your scales to your friends, of course, right? They always want to hear, um, and you know, you too, you want to play the, the most complicated and uh, hardest and most challenging, uh, most beautiful solos, you know, whatever you can. But if you actually break those solos down, um, part by part, you'll find that if it's not an arpeggio, it's a scale or a run. And if it's not, then it's just one accent note, which is what we call a leap. And we'll get to that in another uh, video uh, about composing. Uh, there's very limited directions you can move uh, when you're writing a song. Just kind of like if you start a sentence, you know it's going to have to end with some type of a Markation like a comma or a uh, exclamation point or a period. Actually, a comma wouldn't even end it, but uh, you know, started to get the analogy. Okay, so practice your scales. 
I know this has kind of, kind of been a rant more than an education, but um, really kind of take a look at the music that you're practicing and learning and see where you can find those parts of scales, parts of arpeggios uh, in the music that you're playing. You'll surprise yourself and it actually will help you learn and memorize the music a lot faster too. Okay, well I hope this has been helpful. <laughs> Again, this is Michael Bones. If you enjoyed this, let me know. Until next time, stay cool my babies! Ah! <laughs>